So Joe Manchin uh, is the worst. You guys know this. For the longest time, he was playing footsie with um, Joe Biden and all the other Democrats. Like, oh, we'll make a deal. I'll be there for Build Back Better. Um, we just got to work out the specifics. He said, oh, pass the traditional infrastructure bill because I promise you we'll work out something on Build Back Better. Well, the progressives folded. They voted on the traditional infrastructure bill. It passed. And now Manchin's like, I'm not for anything. Ha <laughs> ha. And I hate his little folksy BS tap dance where he goes around and he says, who, me, bro? Pfft, whatever. I'm like a West Virginia Democrat, and that's different than all like you DC Democrats. So like, I'm looking out for the people of West Virginia. Well, based on the polls, we know he's a liar. That's not true. Build Back Better was super popular in West Virginia. Even a majority of Republicans supported it. And then when you go to the specific provisions... People in West Virginia were begging for Build Back Better, whether it's lower prescription drug prices, um, expanded Medicare, elder care, universal pre-K, you name it, two years free community college, child tax credit, all these things were so important, and West Virginia wants it. Well, uh, turns out, we're not the only ones who are sick and tired of Joe Manchin and have been going after him relentlessly. Coal miners in West Virginia are sick of him. And his folksy little tap dance, oh, I'm with the working people. My ass cheeks are with the working people, son. So here, More Perfect Union went to West Virginia, spoke to coal miners, and they asked Joe Manchin some questions. Senator Joe Manchin says the Biden administration's Build Back Better Act is dead. I cannot vote to continue with this piece of legislation. I just can't. If you love the people of West Virginia, don't be a roadblock for progress. Coal miners, we're all coal miners, we love it, but the future is unpredictable. That you know, three or four good years, but the future is the BBB. There's language in that build back better that would uh, provide tax incentives and what have you to manufacturers that would bring in and locate uh, factories into the coal fields and uh, laid off coal miners would be given a pri priority with regards to work opportunities, you know. This is a no on this legislation. The coal industry is not going to support coal field communities. I hate saying it worse than the coal miners like hearing it. It's the truth. We need to take this time to try and diversify our area and bring in additional jobs and not be so dependent on the coal mining jobs because they're not going to last forever. So there's a lot of things that Build Back Better would have done to help West Virginia and specifically coal miners. Our state is dying. We need help and we're pleading for you to get with the program. I mean, uh, this package, this BBB package, He's got jobs, 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 jobs. I think West Virginia alone has 1,500 bridges that has to be totally, totally now, not, uh, from start to finish, replaced. Imagine the jobs that bleed off of those construction jobs, prevailing wage, union wages. Puts more teeth in the National Labor Relations Board. Gives them more power over uh, when unions are striking and uh, these CEOs and these people who control these unions are held more accountable. I think I've seen about 340,000 or so children that's going to lose uh, benefits, $300 a month benefits that fed them if they took care of our children and everything. They could make life a whole lot better for senior citizens, you know, with the prescription uh, negotiations and uh, the cheaper drugs and stuff. You know, it's not only coal miners, they're, they're surfing all over this country and our politicians need to step up and play. We're too proud to ask for a handout. We worked hard, earned everything we got, but it seems like we're put on the back burner, like we don't even exist. All we're asking for is, is what Joe Biden is trying to offer us in this BBB. It's just a simple handshake, an even playing field. It's just a win-win-win, as I see it, for everybody in this state. And I don't, I've not heard a good reason from nobody as to why these senators in these coal mining states, I've not heard a, a reason, especially a good reason, why they're not all for it. Somebody needs to ask some of these Republican senators, why, what's their plan for the coalfield communities if not this? The Federal Black Loan Trust Fund uh, recently took a, a huge cut to the money that was being paid in by coal companies. It was cut like in half. Bill Back Better would have restored that money.
is too important to just let it die. We got to work on it. We got to get it through. It means too much to West Virginia. But I believe I'm a fiscally responsible and socially compassionate. When you build a house, you start with the foundation. Build back better. What is the foundation to build back better? It's the people. Build back better is not as much uh, for us sitting here at this table. We've all pretty much ran our race. Uh, it's more so about the future of our kids and our grandkids. It's their future. Uh, we're pleading for some help, really. You know, and, and, and you're in a position to where you can do it. You know, help us out. What more can I say? You know, if you love the people of West Virginia, prove it. Damn. Now let me ask you a question. Where is the national media talking to these people? Where's CNN? Where's MSNBC? Where's Fox News? They don't suit the narrative. So they're not being talked to. The narrative is either Joe Biden's a hero for aligning with the Republicans and stopping the big spending. You know, that's the Fox News narrative. But the CNN and the MSNBC narrative are, look, Joe Biden is an honest broker and he cares about ideology and he's just centrist and so he's representing the people of West Virginia. And so this is what he's going to act. We, this is how he's going to act. We might not like it, but it is what it is. Those narratives are completely bogus. They're dead wrong, according to the polls and according directly to the coal miners themselves. The union turned on him. The union turned on Manchin. They're like, you should vote for this. And you're just not hearing that anywhere. Credit to More Perfect Union yet again every time I do a show. It's like I'm giving credit to More Perfect Union because they're doing phenomenal work. They're doing the stuff that mainstream media should be doing. I mean, exact same thing with David Sroda and the Daily Poster. Exact same thing with Jordan Chariton, who right now is yet again facing another censorship scandal. They gave him a strike on his channel. I'm sure it was a bogus strike. I mean, this is the guy who got on the ground footage on January 6th. And then YouTube banned his footage from his own YouTube channel. At the same time, they allow that same footage on CNN and MSNBC. He licensed the footage to them. They're allowed to run it. He's not allowed to run it on YouTube. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But look, clearly Joe Biden doesn't have the fight in him to take on Manchin. Pathetic, weak, doesn't care enough about the specifics of this to fight for it in any real way. So Biden is part of the problem here, too. I don't want to absolve him. Um, but there is a way out for everybody and Biden's refusing to take it. And of course that way out is break out that executive order pen and do everything you possibly can, everything in your legal authority to get the ball moving and do some good things for the people. And he's not doing it. So the, um, American prospect is a great outlet. David Dayan, uh, runs it. And he does this Biden executive order tracker. And there are 77 actions that he can take and he should take. Of those 77, how many has he done? 15. 15. Apparently he's done 15. 12 of them he's done partially. Um, and then the rest, we're waiting. Whether it's eliminating student loan debt, legalizing marijuana. These are things he's not doing. And he's probably not going to do. He's he can do, he can do free college simply through executive order because you just do rolling student loan debt elimination. So anytime somebody takes out, takes out student loan debt, look, I'm doing rolling student loan debt elimination. So you actually don't have any student loans. You're good, free college. There you go. The list goes on and on of the stuff that he can do. He's not doing it. So they have nothing, nobody to blame but themselves. Biden's the problem. He's not a fighter. He doesn't care enough. Manchin is deeply corrupt. You saw in that video the amount of money Manchin's taking from all these different special interests and they're doing their and then doing their bidding. And the narrative is being lost because the media sucks. You guys know the truth. You guys know the reality. These coal miners are 100% correct. And God, I love their accent so much. <laughs> I'm an accent sucker sometimes. And I love their accent so much. Anyway, there you have it. Credit to More Perfect Union. For the love of God, Joe Biden grow a spine. And Joe Manchin, there are things I want to say to Joe Manchin, but it would get me banned off YouTube, so I'll bite my tongue. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.